All right, this is number two in a series of colored pencil light fast tests that I um, have been doing. Uh, this one lasted, again, approximately two months, a little over two months. Um, I started it on the 15th of February, um, 2021, and I ended the test um, on April 21st, 2021. I really don't see a point um, with these, uh, you know, the lower end pencils going much more than a two month test because uh, as you can see here, we already have significant fading and a lot of completely fugitive colors. Now this particular test um, is for the Brunt Funner uh, or Brunt Funner, I can never say that right, um, round barrel colored barrel uh, oil based colored pencils and the Pagos, um, which is a wax-based colored pencil. Now I added in um, some Derwent Color Soft, Derwent Light Fast, and some uh, Prismacolor and Lyra Polycolor, um, just as sort of like um, a, a means of comparing uh, what happened over the two months with the lesser uh, quality pencils versus the high-end pencils. Now, the first thing that I uh, do want to point out is this line right here that you see. This is not the pencil fading. Um, when I did this particular test, I actually laid the uh, blocking paper strip down the center of the color band so that you would see on either side of the uh, color what had faded. And in this case here where you see that pulled up, um, I actually had to use a little piece of tape um, to try to hold that middle one down for, because for some reason it kept wanting to come up on that particular um, column of colors and I didn't want any light getting underneath of it. So when I lifted it up, I did pull some color off, but that is not um, from fading. All right, so the uh, Brunt Funer, um, they start here and they run all the way to here. Um, and then we've got some, the, um, the Brunt Funers are BFR, then DLF is for the Derwent Lightfast, DCS is for the Derwent Color Soft, PC for Prismacolor, LPC for the Lyra Polycolor. Then we have the Pagos, which start here, and they run all the way down to the bottom column. So um, one thing that I uh, did notice with the Derwent Lightfast color pencils, which, and I'm, I'm pointing this out because they are supposed to be an oil-based color pencil, so you would not expect to see a wax bloom. Um, but just so that you know, if you look here, um, this red is a Derwent Light Fast, um, this purple, this blue, um, and this green one right here. And I've already brushed it off, um, but those colors had a massive amount of wax bloom on them even though Derwent Light Fast is supposed to be oil-based. So although those colors did not fade, as you can see, um, they did have wax bloom, which was just as bad as the wax bloom that came up on the Prismacolor, which you would expect. All right, so um, getting on to, first let's look at the Brunt uh, Funer, Brute Funer. You know, those pencils. <laughs> So, um, as expected, um, there is significant fade in the red and the pinks um, after just two months. And the oranges and the yellows, there is minimal fading after two months, but um, I'm not sure if the camera will catch it. There is still a slight amount of fading, um, so I would not expect them to, you know, fare very well if I let this go out to six months. The greens, um, they've got some fading on them, although they did hold up better than the pinks and the purples. As you can see, the purples faded quite a bit. And then some of the pinks um, and purples had some very unusual fading. Um, as you can see here, uh, the BFR010, um, it kind of faded from a pinkish 
to an orange. And then this one was the most unusual, um, number 119. It was actually a reddish pink and it faded up to yellow. Very odd. Um, and then of course, as you can see, um, most of the pinks and flesh tones were completely fugitive. After just two months, they are completely gone. And continuing up, you can see that the browns and yellows and the darker greens, um, some of them had some fading, but not a whole lot. Um, the same thing here with these dark greens, very slight fading, but there was some. And then getting into the browns and the red browns, there was some fading, not a lot. Um, these one, these particular browns, whoops, right here did not fade too much. Um, same thing with some of the blues, but then other blues did fade significantly. And then if we come down to the bottom column here, you can see that whereas this one purple only faded a little bit, we have another unusual fading um, where this sort of gray purple faded out to an aqua. And, you know, this is one of the reasons why it is so important not to use inexpensive color pencils for any professional works or works that you're going to display or that you're going to sell because you get these really odd color shift changes. So, you know, if you did something that you wanted it to be red and it ended up being yellow in two months' time, that's going to be a significant change. Same as this sort of gray-purple turning into an aqua. It's going to totally change the look of your piece of work. So, continuing on, you can see that there was some fading in those purples. Um, the blacks, as usual, really didn't change much at all. Um, some of these darker shades of greens and blues and purples had minimal change to them, but they did fade somewhat, some of them. And then when we get up here into the neutrals and the grays, you can see that they faded fairly significantly. And then some of these grays, the last grays here, didn't fade too much. Now, looking at the control colors, um, obviously the Derwent Lightfast um, and Colorsoft, there were minimal fading on those. Surprisingly, this Deep Rose for the Derwent Lightfast, even though it did have a significant wax bloom on it that I had to wipe off, um, it didn't fade at all. Now, the Lyra Poly color right below it, in that red, it had some pretty significant fading over too much, which is disappointing because um, I do like Lyra Polycolor and it is a higher end pencil, but you can see that that one did fade. And then our Derwent Light Fast and Color Soft in the Dark Blue and Light Blue, Color Soft in the Terracotta, um, the Lyra Polycolor in Yellow, Derwent Light Fast in the Green and the Lyra Polycolor in the light green, which you can see that one faded as well. All right, so then moving on to the Pegos, um, and these are a wax-based one, which surprisingly enough, they didn't have anywhere near the wax bloom that the Durant Light Fast had. Um, one of the interesting things about the Pegos set is that it is perfect numerical order. Um, so I actually started at the bottom tray where the metallics were at number 72 um, of the 72 color set and they were in absolutely perfect order in the trays number wise, which I've never encountered that in a set of pencils yet. I mean, I'm not really sure that it's that significant, but I found it interesting. Um, so as you can see in the Pegos, there was fading even in their metallics. And these two, um, it starts with the, this is sort of a black, I'm not sure if that's showing up real well here, um, but there's the black and then the softer black. Um, the softer black actually faded somewhat, um, and as you get into the grays, you can see some of those had some fading. And then, of course, once we start getting down into purples and reds, 
there are some significant fading. These red browns, these two here, they actually had a significant change. So they were, as you can see, very much a very red brown color um, and they faded out to just be a brown, a light brown and a, and a darker brown. And then continuing up in the browns and the yellows, you can see there was significant um, color shift and fading. Um, the same thing with their lighter greens and actually throughout most of their greens, with the exception of these two here, um, there was some pretty significant fading. And into their blues, the blues weren't too bad, but as you can see they did have some fading. And then continuing down into the pinks and the purples, you can see that once again, um, as expected, pinks and purples and flesh tones, some of them were completely fugitive. And after just two months, they're nearly completely gone. Um, their reds and uh, reddish oranges and their yellows, they did actually worse than what the um, uh, Brunt, Fooner, Brunt Fooner did. Um, they did fade significantly more in the oranges and the yellows. And going back to Brunt Fooner, you can see that although there was some fading, they didn't fade as badly as the Pagos did. So, um, final conclusion. Uh, once again, as with the other light fast tests that I did uh, with the less expensive uh, colored pencils and watercolor pencils in uh, the first one. The inexpensive pencils simply do not stand the test of time when exposed to light. And I'm like I said, I, I really don't go much past the two month mark on these tests at this point because in my opinion, when you have this kind of fugitive uh, behavior in a significant number of the colors and when the rest of the colors are having, you know, some degree of fading in just two months, I'm obviously not going to trust any of these uh, inexpensive pencils to do works of art that I want to display, that I want to sell, or that I want to give as a gift. They're perfectly fine for coloring books, and they're perfectly fine for your sketchbook, but I would not do anything with them that is going to be on display. Now I also uh, put up a video specifically about the Pagos um, and the Brunt Funner and um, I go over this color chart in there as well but also the working characteristics. So check those ones out if you want to see more about those two and um, see you next time.